Well, everyone has a different viewpoint of risk. Some people can handle more risk. Some people don't want to take any risk. Um, if you're up at three in the morning looking at your statements because the market's down, you're probably taking too much risk. But I kind of want to equate that to a story. Say you're a husband and wife and you're taking a road trip to a resort destination in Arizona. And uh, the husband looks at the sign and says 120 miles to the next gas station. And you look down and you have 150 miles left to go to empty. The wife says, we should probably stop. And the husband said, no, we can push through. Well, then another sign comes up and it says 75 miles to the next gas station. You look down, you got 100 miles empty. We got time. Then another sign, it says 20 miles to the next gas station. You look down at your gas gauge and you got 25 miles left to go. Then you get to the resort destination and there's one mile to go left in the gas gauge. And the husband says to his wife, I told you so. You walk into the resort destination, you check in, and the lady at the front desk says, wasn't that the most amazing drive of your life? It's really top 10 in National Geographic. What did you guys think? And you realize you weren't focused on the window, you were looking at the gas gauge. Same in retirement. If you're focusing on your investments every single day, you're not enjoying the longest vacation of your life. Make sure that your risk is in line with what your goals are.